Hello everyone, this is Professor Ng Chi Kun from Unimas. In this video, we are going to look at an example of designing torsional reinforcement as well as incorporating shear and also bending reinforcement in a beam design. So torsional reinforcement is to be designed for the beam with ultimate bending moment MED of 486 kN, ultimate shear VED of 308 kN, and ultimate shear moment of TED of 24 kN. Take characteristic strength of concrete as 30 MPa and characteristic strength of reinforcing steel as 500 N per square millimeter. The required longitudinal reinforcement for bending has been designed as shown in figure 4.4a. So, meaning that the tension reinforcement is 2H25 for the tension and also 2H16 for compression reinforcement. So, we are going to design for the torsional moment of 24 kNm. So the ultimate shear force VED is given as 308 kN. So we will check the concrete strut capacity at 22 degree and also 45 degree to give 530.9 kN at 22 degree and 769.8 kN at 45 degree. So the applied shear force or the ultimate shear force is 308 kN and it is smaller than theta equals to 22 degree. So meaning that the angle that we use in our design is using minimum of 22 degree for the calculation. So we just substitute theta equals to 22 degree in the design calculation to give SW over S of 0 0.585. This is for shear reinforcement requirement. And then from shear design also we have additional tensile force. So additional tensile force is half of VED times cotangent theta. So theta is 22 degree. So that gives delta FTD equals to 385 kN. After that, we need to convert the rectangular section to an equivalent hollow box section. So the thickness of the box section is the area of the cross section A divided by the perimeter of the cross section U to give 100 mm thickness as shown in this figure here. So we are going to get a hollow box section like this okay, with this part assumed as a hollow section. Next we need to calculate the area within the center line that is given by B minus T times H minus T to give 100 times 10 to the power of 3 square millimeter. And then we need to calculate the perimeter of the center line UK. So that will be 2 times H minus T plus 2 times B minus T to give 1400 millimeter. So the next step in torsional design calculation is to check the combined torsion and shear. So we need to check whether TED over TRD max plus VED over VRD max is smaller or equals to 1. So TRD max, we can use the design equation given for the calculation at theta equals to 22 degree yeah? because just now for shear design we use theta equals to 22 degree so we have to be consistent in the angle of inclination of the compressive strut 
So V1 is equals to 0 0.6 times 1 minus FCK over 250 to give 0 0.528. And then TRD max is 72.65 kilonewton and it's greater than the applied torsional moment which is 24 kilonewton meter which is okay. Eh? So we can say that for torsion is okay and then if we check the combined torsion and shear so we substitute TED TRD max VED and VRD max at 22 degree yeah? so we get 0 0.91 which is smaller than 1.0 so the combined shear and torsion is okay so now we want to calculate additional link reinforcement required to resist torsion with only one leg. Eh? So remember that for torsional reinforcement, it has to be a close link with at least a lap on the smaller dimension. And then for each torsional link, we only use one leg to resist torsion eh? because the shear stress or the shear flow is flowing around the section like this okay so every leg here we have to resist the same shear flow as opposed to shear where we use two legs to resist shear in the vertical direction okay so links for shear plus torsion with two legs we have to multiply the 1 from torsion with a factor of 2 in order to give the reinforcement of 2 legs. Huh? Okay, so that will be compatible with the shear design with 2 legs. And then that gives us W over S of 0.805. So in this case, we can try link of H8. So H8 with two legs, then the SW is the area of two bars. Huh? So it's 101 square millimeter. So that gives spacing of 125 mm. And then we check maximum spacing for shear of 0.75 D that is 405 mm and also maximum spacing for torsion s max that is uk over 8 so 1400 over 8 is 175 mm so based on the spacing calculated we need to provide h8 at spacing of 125 mm next we need to calculate the area as one of the additional longitudinal reinforcement required for torsion and it's given by this design equation there with theta equals to 25 degree so that gives as 1 equals to 966 square millimeter so this additional longitudinal steel can be provided for by 6h16 bars huh? so one in each corner and one in each of the side faces as shown in figure 4.4 c the additional longitudinal tensile force of 385 kN resulting from the design for shear will be catered for by appropriate curtainment of the main tensile reinforcement, especially near the support. Huh? So the final reinforcement is shown in this figure here, where we put H16 bars, 6 of it, with 2 near the middle of the beam, and then two near the top corner and then the other two near the bottom corner and then the links provided has to be a cross links with at least a lap on the shorter side of the dimension eh? and then with spacing of 125 mm so that's all for the lecture in this video thank you very much for listening